Hey guys, this is Jamie. Um, I'm sorry I'm not wearing my wig today. It's pretty hot. Like, I'm hot. <laughs> anyway, so today I wanted to talk about um, detransitioners and then general sort of why they're bad. I mean, basically, I want to say that I understand that obviously there's gender fluid people, there's non binary people. People can understand that they may not need certain surgeries, certain treatments, and uh, this is why transitioning is such a long, 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 long process. And uh, or originally, I didn't even know if I wanted to speak about this because I have talked about the transitioners in the past, but I feel like right now, when we are literally in a situation where there's actual cis people pretending to be detransitioners in order to raise some shitty awareness just because they're transphobic. I feel like this is this is the time when we need to advocate for them to shut the fuck up. So, no one is giving hormones out like candy. I have no idea how else I'm supposed to word this. No one is really giving them out like candy. It's very fucking difficult to get them. Second of all, when it comes to surgeries, it's just as difficult. It's even more difficult than hormones. And my second topic or my idea to talk about today was going to be about phalloplasty. And just to... Because people are very obsessed with what's in our pants on the internet... Again, I don't deal with that much transphobia in my life, but I deal a lot with it when I go online or when I see it. And so obviously I understand that I'm in a better place. And recently I was talking to a colleague of mine and they were talking to me about an incident that happened in our university. And uh, I was like, okay, transphobia is real in Portugal. I was like, wow, like, you know, like Kim K with the just discovering racism I, I i really felt bad <laughs> so yeah so i do understand that i come in a in a certain place of privilege where i don't see that much transphobia towards me or in general in my surroundings and where i live so it's really, literally when i see it in the newspapers or someone raises awareness about it so mostly my my factual struggles are with my family and uh, the previous trauma and legal system uh, not in portugal in my birth country so so i want to say that it takes a very very long while like no one is as well like trimming children's genitalia that's circumcision which should also not be a thing, neither female or male circumcision. So, for some reason, people are thinking that children get gender uh, SRS surgery, and that's also kind of made me think a lot because. As far as I'm aware of, you're only able to have it after you've had a bunch of surgeries. Uh, before that, you need a bunch of medical notes and you need to be over a certain age and a certain time on hormones, at least as I remember. Again, I may not be speaking for every single case, but if you are under 18, I highly doubt you can even think about getting it before 18. So it's 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 really just weird and mind-boggling that people are just set out on a crusade and people think that we do this for the cloud or we do this to ruin someone else's life and this is like poison or whatever and in reality it's I'm 
I'll give it to you straight. I never felt like a woman and neither am I attracted to women. Like, sure, I've had my sort of uh, curiosity and sexuality, but I'm really just a gay dude. And I guess maybe because I've transitioned for a really long while, sometimes people ask me certain things and I can, obviously, I can be a bit out of touch with, like, how is the process right now to get hormones? How is the process right now to get, uh, I don't know, on the waiting list or something? Or how is the process to start passing at times? But it just feels very, very odd that people think that everything is easy. And there is laws against this and we're not really advocating for anyone. Like, this is literally just my soapbox. This YouTube is my soapbox. You don't want to listen to it? Don't listen. I've actually... I. I don't even talk that much about like even tea changes. I mean, I just show up, I pretty much tell that I'm a whore. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So it's not like I was even called out, but it's just, it feels really weird that people think that we advocate this for children or something. So yeah. Like, I just want to know how to get rid of my bottom dysphoria. I just want to know how I can move on and live my life. And I'm... I am eternally happy to have gotten top surgery, to be on T. Sure, like, in the beginning it was a bit weird for me to understand that I'm balding. Because I didn't expect that. But that's, like, literally the only thing I can single out that I would, like, if I could have, like, a ticking box, which I'd probably be like, you know what, can you make me bold, like, in a f few later years? That's the only thing I'd regret. Not even regret, but more like, if I had to win a wave of magic wand. So it's very odd. And specifically that this crusade is also done a lot by trans men and obviously um, TERFs are women and obviously a lot of TERFs are like unhappy trans dudes who detransition because society didn't accept them. And right now there's like a bunch of detrans people getting platforms. There's a bunch of detrans people uh, screwing results, and I, I'm, I, I, I try to say this in a calm way, but I honestly don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck to be nice to the trans people. Like, why should I be nice to someone who is telling that a normal situation when a person is trans, which has existed since ever, is a fad, a fashion statement, or something that doesn't exist. This thing, this trans thing has existed since ever. And just because you you, by you I mean the, the trans folk, the transphobes, you just close your eyes on it and you want to pretend that some time there were no trans people just because you felt like it doesn't mean that we never existed. The fact that you're trying to erase us just proves of how much we exist. So yeah. And I hate this whole notion that, for instance, like when J.K. Rowling uh, showed up and everyone's like, oh, we should be nice to her. No, we should fucking shouldn't. Call that bitch out. Like, why do we have to 
be nice when someone else is rude. And I understand that this is like a sort of touchy subject for me because I I had a an abuser in my life and everyone was like, you should be nice to your abuser. You should forgive them. And I understand that in an ideal scenario, we should forgive certain things. But at the end of the day, if the person caused us harm, why the fuck should we? So, yes, I have a very personal beef with D-trans people. And I just wish they would just fucking shut up. Like, I don't usually advocate for anything, but... I do not understand the movements of trans people looking at detransition videos thinking that, oh, maybe I'm not trans. And thinking that's healthy. That is not healthy. What is healthy is going to a fucking therapist and fucking talking about your gender like a grown-up person. The therapist will decline if you're not trans. It happens, it happens, and will continue to happen. Getting hormones or any medical treatment is very difficult and it's a very 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 thorough process thank you very much for watching i was originally gonna talk about phalloplasty but i derailed because i figured that certain things have to be said so yeah thank you very much for watching uh thank you very much for all the support i've been receiving um if you like this video please subscribe uh, to get more videos like these uh, like comments and please share as well you can even share it on dtransfer like <laughs> i don't know um yeah if you share it on dtrans i guess someone please tell me please anyway thank you for watching